Questions 21 through 25 on the 2018 Grade 7 Goss Math Contest. The figure consists of eight identical small parallelograms joined as shown, including these eight small parallelograms. How many parallelograms appear in this figure? Well, let's list them based on dimensions. We've got a 1 by 1 or a 2 by 1 or a 3 by 1 or a 4 by 1. And then I think we can squeeze in a few more, a 1 by 2, a 2 by 2, 3 by 2, and a 4 by 2. And I think that's it. I don't think there's any ones where you have bigger dimensions than this. Okay, 1 by 1, well, they, that one they told me is 8. So there we go. 2 by 1. So 2 by 1 is 2 this way and 1 that way, right? So 1, 2, 3. 3, and then 3 on the bottom, so that's 6. 3 by 1, so that's how a 3 by 1 looks, and you can count them, and you'll easily see that there's 4 of those, with some overlap, of course. 4 by 1, 1 on the top and 1 on the bottom, so that's 2. Okay, 1 by 2, so 1 this way, but 2 that way. And there's going to be 4 of those. Yeah, 4 of those. 2 by 2... 2 by 2 is going to be like this, right? And then there's some overlap, so there's three of those. And then 3 by 2 is like this. And, of course, there's another one here, so that's 2. And then 4 by 2 is the entire thing. So that's just 1, obviously. So now we just add this up. And what do we have here? A at 20, 24, 27, 30. So number 21, the answer is B. In a jar, there are 50 coins with a total value of $5. The coins are quarters, dimes, nickels. The number of nickels in the jar is three times the number of quarters. The number of dimes in the jar is one more than the number of nickels. How many quarters are in the jar? Okay, well, from the question, we are told that N is equal to 3Q, where N is nickels, Q is quarters, and D is equal to N plus 1, where D is di dimes. And therefore, that's 3Q plus 1, right? Because N is 3Q. And then we're told there's 50 coins. So if there's 50 coins, N plus D plus Q is equal to 50. So let's see here. That's going to be 3Q. D is 3Q plus 1. And then Q. So that gives me 7Q plus 1 is 50. 7Q is 49, therefore Q is 7. Okay. I got the answer even without talking about the value. I was going to go into that whole... I, I, you know what? I'm still going to do it. 500 is equal to 25Q plus 10D plus 5N. So 500 is equal to 25Q. D is 3Q plus 1. And... N is equal to 3Q. So multiplying this out, we get 500 is equal to 25Q plus 30Q plus 10 plus 15Q. So that is what? Uh, seven, uh, 40 plus 70Q plus 10 is equal to 500. 490 is equal to 70Q. And therefore, Q is equal to 7. So as you can see, either way, the answer is 7. So number 22, the answer is A. The digits from 1 to 9 are written in order so that the digit N is written N times. This forms the block of digits 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, all the way up until you have these 9s. The block is written 100 times. What is the 1953 digit written? Okay, so 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, and then you keep going 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 6. You get the idea until you get to 9, which you would put 9 times. Now, what I'm going to do is add up how many numbers are there? Well, there's 1, 1, 2, 2s, 3, 3s, 4, 4s, 5, 5s. Six sixes, seven sevens, eight eights, and nine nines. So I want to add up all of those guys. And when I do, you get 45. 
So each string has 45 numbers in it. So if I want to figure out the 1953rd digit, I have to divide 1953 by 45. And when I do, I get 43.4. And what that means is that there's 43 strings, but then we've got a remainder. So 43 with a remainder of 18. So this string appears 43 times in a row, and then there's 18 more numbers. Okay, so I gotta figure out what are those 18 numbers. Now, well, obviously they're gonna be these, but I have to in particular figure out what is the 18th number. So let me just put it all out. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This will be the 18th. So just to recap, We've got 43 of these strings, which contain 45 numbers each. And then we've got a remainder of 18, and that 18th digit is 6. So the 1,953rd digit would be the 6. So number 23, the answer is C. The number 2018 is used to create the 6-digit used to create six-digit positive integers. These six-digit integers must contain the digits 2018 together and in this order. For example, 720186 is allowed, but 209318 and 210893 is, are not. How many of these six-digit integers are divisible by nine? Our integer is gonna be of the form 2018 and then something, so x, y. Or the 2018 could be in the middle, like that, and then you'd have x and y. Or it could be at the end, 2018, and then you've got an x and a y. So these are the three forms. Those are the only three forms, because you can't break up the 2018. Now, here's something that definitely helps with the question, that if a number is divisible by 9, the sum of the digits are also going to be divisible by 9. And that really helps if you can um, understand that, if you know that. All right, so the sum of the digits would be 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 8 plus x plus y. And that is uh, 12 plus, uh, sorry, <laughs> 11 plus x plus y. And this has to be divisible by 9. Well, what are the ways it could be divisible by 9? This must equal either 18 or 27. And I think that's it. Those are the only ways. Because remember, x, x, x and y are just digits, right? So x can be between 0 and 9, and y is also between 0 and 9. So you can't get anything bigger. The largest, if they were both 9s, it would be 9 plus 9, which is 18, plus 11, which is 29. So the maximum it can be is 29, that's sum. Okay. So let's figure this out. Let's figure it out for 18, and then let's figure it out for 27, and then see what we get. Then we'll revisit, because I think some of these will be invalid, because I, you can't put a zero as the first digit, because that would no longer be a six-digit number. Okay, let's figure this out first for 18. If x plus y plus 11 is 18, what are our values for x and y? Well, zero and seven, 1 and 6, 2 and 5, 3 and 4, 4 and 3, 5 and 2, 6 and 1, and 7 and 0. These would work. And if x plus y plus 11 is 27, that would mean uh, we have, let's see here, 16 would be x plus y, so the only ways are 9, 7, 8, 8, and 9, 7, like that. Okay, so now let's go back and revisit these guys if X we're looking at these I can put one two three four five six seven eight different uh, sets for X and Y here but here the next one though I can't put this guy I can't put zero as the leadoff number so I can only put these which are seven 
And same thing here, I can't put zero, so I can only put seven. Now let's talk about this. Three, I can put all three of these would work. And there's no zero problem here because none of these are zeros. So you can put all three here and all three here. So now I just got to add up all these guys. So that's going to be 9 plus 8, which is 17, plus 14, which is 31. So 31 different ways of making those numbers. So number 24, the answer is C. In the triangle, each of the numbers 1 through 8 is placed into a different circle. The sums of the numbers on each of the three sides of the triangle are equal. To the same number s, the sum of all of the different possible values of s is. I'm going to label this now a, v, w, b, and then z, c, x, y. a, b, c purposely chose as the vertices. So that sum is either a plus v plus w plus b, or that sum is the bottom, which is b plus z plus c, or the sum is the other side, which is a plus x plus y plus c. Now, all of those are equal uh, according to the question stem. Now, let's add them up. If I add them up, I get 3s. Remember, I'm adding these three. Let's write it over here. It gives me a little bit more space. 3s. And we add it up, you get a plus v plus w plus b plus z plus c plus y plus x. And then you also get an additional a, an additional b, and an additional c, like that. Now this, right, just those guys are basically all of those. And those are between 1 and 8. So it's like adding all the numbers from 1 to 8. And when you do, you get, what, 8 times 9 divided by 2, which is 36. And then you've got this A plus B plus C. Put the 36 on the other side. And therefore, if you factor out a 3, you'll get S minus 12. So that means A plus B plus C is some multiple of 3. That is the conclusion. So a plus b plus c, what are the possible multiples of 3? Well, the smallest it could possibly be is 6, 1, 2, 3. So 6, obviously, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. What's the largest it could be? 6, 7, and 8, which would make it 21. So that's it. This is the, the range. So now I've got to figure out, through trial and error, how to place this. And I'll put in a diagram. And after you fiddle around with this, you will see that these are the only ways of, of making this work. Now I'm interested in what is the value for a plus b plus c. Well, in the first one here, as you can see, it was a, b, and c, so that was uh, 9. So that one works. The second one, it was this, this, and this, which is 12. So that one worked. And then the third one, 2, 5, and 8 is 15. And the last one, 6, 7, 8, that's the largest one, actually. So that's uh, 21. So this and this, for some reason, didn't work out. OK, we're at this point, we're done with the question. But let's just explore why these two didn't work, because I think that's important to figure out why. If a plus b plus c was 6, then if you substitute it back into here, you get that 3s minus 12 is 6. And therefore, s minus 12 would be equal to 2. Therefore, s would be 14. So that means that this guy down here, this b plus z plus c, that one would have to be 14. But since a plus b plus c is 6, that means we've chosen 1, 2, and 3, like that. And the largest, therefore, b plus c could be was 2 and 3. 
And therefore, if we did this math, z would have to be 9. And z can't be 9 because our numbers only go from 1 to 8. There's no way to make z the 9. So z, there is no 9. So this obviously does not work out. That's why this a plus b equals 6 is invalid. So no, not possible. Now let's talk about the 18, this guy right here. Okay, same story, a plus b plus c is 18. That means 3s minus 12 is equal to 18. That means s minus 12 would be 18 divided by 3, which is 6, and therefore s would be 18. Okay, again, look at that bottom row, b plus z plus c. b plus z plus c would be 18. And we are going to probably have to choose some large numbers to make this possible. But another thing you can do is just compare those. Since in this particular example they're equal, that means that a plus b plus c is equal to b plus z plus c. The a's, uh, sorry, the b's cancel and the c's cancel, so you're just left with a is equal to z. But that's not possible. Why? Because each of the numbers is placed into a different circle. You can't repeat the same numbers. No two numbers can be the same. So this, again, is invalid. So the 18 is not possible. So as you can see, it takes a little bit of trial and error in math to come up with the right answer to a relatively challenging question for grade 7. So the only valid uh, values for ABC were 9, 12, 15, and uh, 21, we're going to substitute each of those back into here to get the values for s. And when you do, plug each of these in for a, b, c, and solve for s, you get the following values for s. You get 15, 16, 17, and 19. And now they want you to add those up. So the sum obviously would be 15 plus 16 plus 17 plus 19. And that totals 67. And that is the answer to the question number 25, which is E.